Monarch Legacy of Monsters. We watched episode four this week, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll give my score first on this one. Um, and then we'll okay. go, then you'll give yours and then we'll, we'll go into spoilers. Um, okay. I think this was probably my least favorite so far. It was still entertaining. Um, I think I'm going to give this one probably I'm between a six or a seven. Like it was, I think I'm going to give it a six because I gave episode two mm. a seven, I think. And I, I like this one. I, I don't know if it's. Well, we'll get more into the into the spoilers, but it just wasn't as good as the other ones, in my opinion. Um, okay. A little slow in the first half, and um, the monster was still cool. And the CG looked great, but um, some of the character stuff was just a little slower to me in this one. Mm -hmm. Okay. Fair. So you said, what, a six? Yeah, I think I'm going to give it a six. Okay. Uh, I, I'm in a similar range. I'd probably say a six as well. Uh, probably my least favorite, but there's also things I really liked about it. Like I actually really sure. liked the flashback scenes. Yeah. Um, uh, I thought that was good. Like characterization, like learning about, you know, the, mm -hmm. some of the main characters, but like the current day stuff, mm, definitely not my favorite. Yeah. Uh, which we can get in the spoilers. But yeah, I'll say six, six out of ten too. Okay. All right. So now we're gonna go into spoilers. So you have been warned. So I did like the flashbacks, but I still feel like it, so the flashbacks to me made me like Kentaro more, but did nothing really for me for May. Like I still think she's I still don't really care about me. <laughs> like, I don't know if you feel the same way, yeah. but, but like, um, I don't know. Yeah. No, I agree. Cause it, you, the, the most you learn, I guess is that she has a sister. Yeah, has a sister. <laughs> we yeah. still don't know what that's about though. Yeah. Yeah. But it, it, I, you hit it on the nail though. Cause I did care about Kentaro more. Like I really liked learning about him. Like, I really yeah. did that. This episode really did make me like him more. Yeah, I agree. Which is why I gave it a. If 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 it didn't do that for me, it honestly could have been a lower score. Yeah, I agree with that too. Um, but I really like. I don't know. I just really like seeing his his history with her, but not even just her. Just his and like his his art, art shows and his dad yeah. and like yeah. It made him feel more like a character than mm. like he previously was. Because before yeah. we've just kind of seen him like as her brother that she found. Right. Yeah, the last two episodes with Kentaro was like kind of, I was kind of losing like I thought he was interesting in the first episode and then it was like he was just kind of there. <laughs> and then mm -hmm. then it started to get a little better in in this one. Yeah. So I agree. Um yeah. What else is there? I'll let you. I'll let you lead this one. So let's see. Um, so the frost bark, like, well, one other thing in this one is that there wasn't the like flashback to the original three, the like even mm -hmm. further flashbacks, which those have been some of my favorite parts. So that's also why it kind of felt, oh, you know, a little. Oh yeah, I agree. Uh, a little worse, but those um, have been the best parts. <laughs> yeah, so especially after last week's. Yeah, yeah, I really liked last week's. Uh, so the frost vark like traps them in a cave, or they hide in a cave to get away from it, and then May like falls into that like water part. Mm -hmm. Um, and so she's in danger of having hypothermia. Um, and then. I don't know, they just run around for a while and then decide to split up, which to me seems like the dumbest choice they could have made. That part was a little weird. Like, why would you ever split why up? Why would they split up? I, the light's there now, but what if the light disappears, then you wouldn't have no clue where they're at. Yeah. Yeah. And then uh, it made no sense. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Continue. And then, and then 
the, the Shaw is like later on, it's like, oh yeah, when there's Titans around, stuff gets weird. And it's like, well, that's going to make it even harder to find you when you're split up. Like, <laughs> what? <laughs> the stuff gets weird, and why would you stay together? Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. That was a weird decision, but whatever. Um, I was actually shocked when they when it actually happened. I'm like, I know, oh, I know. Like, I did we're not actually splitting, splitting up. <laughs> yeah, that was very weird decision. Um, but yeah, they split up. Kentaro goes off to find that dome thing he thought he saw, which ends up being he mm -hmm. did actually see it, and um, and then they go off and go around in a circle and end up back at camp. Um, back at the beginning. Yeah. yeah. And then they make a fire, and the Frostfark, like, freaking steals the warmth, and so they figure out that's what it's being drawn to. Um, mm -hmm. And so all of that part was kind of kind of slow to me. Um, yeah. The, the second half definitely picked up, and there were, like, flashback scenes in there of, like, Kentaro doing his art thing and meeting Mei. And then she gets pissed at him for just taking a picture that she happens to be walking in front of. Which, why do you walk in front of someone taking a picture? First of all, like, normally you try not to do that. <laughs> but, you know, whatever. Uh, but I did I did like how you had, like, that secret little bar. Or not secret bar, but... Yeah, that was, that was pretty cool. Yeah. Um, I don't know, like you're, you're right. I just love his stuff in it, like in the in the past. Yeah, he it, just, seemed, I, it really made me like him a lot more. Yeah, he seemed really cool in that. Like he has a hookup at this bar, and he seemed to have like a good friendship with that that guy there. And he just it made mm -hmm. it seem him seem more likable because right now all we've known is him like in a like in a situation where everybody's pissed off, you know? <laughs> like yeah, um, yeah, and he seemed like he was like a nice guy. Yeah, like actual like I could I want I would want to hang out with him. Yeah. Yeah, so that definitely helped his yeah. character, for sure. But you're right, nothing for May. I, I, I was hoping, so this was a, a little nitpick I had. Like, So like you said, they kind of ended up back at the beginning, and, and Kataro was right, so they showed up with the helicopter and saved them. Yep. And May, instead of like thinking and holding him, and you were right, was holding his sister's hand. Yeah. Uh, I'm like, why are you like all being nice, nice to her? You know, your ex boyfriend just saved your life. Yeah, literally. I don't know. Like, I didn't get I that thought, either. I thought it would tie back into like, oh, they have a history and they really did like each other. So, like, and then like at that yeah. very end, you know, they hold hands and they kind of rekindle. And like, it didn't happen. It didn't happen. Yeah. Maybe it will. Maybe it won't. I, I I don't know what they're it doing with like that. It's a good opportunity to kind of spark that up again, right? Yeah, like, I agree. Story arc. That's what I was expecting too. Yeah. So that was a big, a big nit. Not even a nitpick. That was a big story element. I feel missed, unless they do it in the future. But yeah. I feel like that was an opportunity missed. I feel like they're still doing something with the mystery around her sister, and maybe that'll, I don't know, do something. Yeah, with that, but it just didn't make sense. So like the whole yeah. episode was showing them how they had a relationship. For sure. And then in the current time, they're like pissed off at each other all the time. Yeah. And why not have this moment where he was right and saved her? And why can't like they have that moment where it kind of rekindles the path? Doesn't mean they need to get back together or anything. Right. Just but, at like, least like quashes kind of some of the bad feelings. Yeah. Yeah. And and instead, you know, she was I don't I don't get it. I, I don't know why they were trying to build their relationship so much. The, the his sister and and May's relationship so much. Yeah, I don't know either. This, what was she like question. if you what, what did she say like if you if I die you gotta tell my sister oh it's just talking tarot he doesn't know I'm like why are you trying to yeah it's not that I don't I mean it's not that like I don't like that they're getting along and stuff it's just it felt off when I feel like the whole episode was about May and yeah Kintaro. that's a good way to put it yep and then just nothing yeah. happened at the end or yeah yeah um, yep. I, I guess you're right. There's not much to talk about with this episode. So there That's are really a couple things. Um, the plan to kill the frost fark was interesting with the jet fuel. I thought that was a kind of cool scene, seeing it like suck up the fire and then like them yeah. explode it. Um, they so that hole they found, um, and that they saw from the oh, helicopter. Yeah, right. that I feel like was the biggest part of this episode. 
Because to me, that so looked like... That, the Hollow Earth? Yeah, that's what it looked like to me, is that that's the Hollow Earth, which I'm excited that they might explore or learn more about that. Um, and actually, Ooh. I saw a post that there was, like, satellite footage from, I want to say Alaska, with a hole that looked very similar to that. So I think the CG from that was taken from, like, an actual video of... Like, they took inspiration from that video of some satellite footage we have. Maybe I'll send that What to the you. heck was it? What the heck was that hole? I don't know. <laughs> in, like, in, like, real life. Yeah, in real life. Hold on, let me see if I can find it. Um... That's interesting. Would yeah. it be like just the reflections with the eyes? With maybe I don't know. I don't know. I I might have it That's here. Cool. And... No. Let's see. Maybe I'll edit it in here and send it to you if I can find it because I don't see it. Okay. Right off yeah. of that, but but yeah, I I saw that and I was like, oh, that does look a lot like that. Um. <laughs> So that's cool if they did that on purpose. Um, but yeah, the Hollow Earth stuff, I'm excited for. I'm hoping that they bring that in. Which, I mean, I mean they, they went in there in Godzilla vs. Kong, so it's very much something dealing with the Titans. Mm -hmm. And they also yeah. had that I other lady to, yeah. who was picking up the readings. Do you remember that? Uh, the, uh, the, yeah. Uh... And uh, oh, it, she said that, it was uh, the, the same as the desert, right? Yeah. Yeah. And she was saying that it's like similar to G Day, which is when I think that's San Francisco. The San Francisco attack is G Day. Yeah. So it's similar so wait, to, like, in this Godzilla's. show. Did Godzilla versus Kong and all that happen in the show yet, or is this no. just directly after San Francisco? I think this is directly after San Francisco. It's in between Godzilla 2014 and Godzilla King of the Monsters. Yeah. Okay, so this is still early on. Yep. Interesting. Okay. I was trying to figure that out. I'm like, wait a second. They they keep referring G Day, but like clearly, if if they would have seen the King of the Monsters and Godzilla versus Kong, they would just be worried about Godzilla, <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or Moodles. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Um. And so one of my theories is that um. Because they they did find evidence of his of their dad there, at that place. Mm -hmm. So I'm wondering if he might be in that hole in Hollow Earth, and that's why he hasn't like come back, or oh. that's why they don't know. And also, this is a further a a more far fetched theory. Um, what if her grandmother didn't? die what if those monsters like brought her back to hollow earth and she's there and i th i don't know really? if they said this in the movie or if it's just a theory that being in hollow earth you might age differently and that might be why shaw is older or seems younger than yeah. his age implies so maybe she's still alive and down there you know she hasn't aged as much or you know i don't know that there's, there's a lot of things they could do with well, hollow earth stuff I was going to say, they could definitely do something where age is differently down there. Yeah. And we are going to learn more about Hollow Earth, too. Did you see that new Godzilla versus or Godzilla and Kong trailer? Yeah, I did. I did yeah. see that. And there, it seems like there's a lot of Hollow Earth stuff in that movie. Yeah. It seems much more action-y. Well, I guess Godzilla versus Kong was pretty action-y, too. And I still like that. So, yeah. So we'll see. I don't mind. It's different. A lot of people complain about the U.S. version of Godzilla. Yeah, uh, it's definitely different. MonsterVerse. But to me, they're just totally different. Yeah. Like, I like the whole action. I, I like the action and the... Yeah, it's... You get the best of both worlds. You yeah, get, like, Godzilla true. minus one, and you get, like, this stuff. <laughs> yep. Um, is there anything else for this episode? Let's see. Um, I, the, the Monarch guy on the call was just really funny to me. I don't even remember oh, what he yeah. said, but I thought that scene was really funny, and that makes me excited to see him and the main cast, like, possibly now work together, maybe? Or, I don't know, because they met at the yeah. end there. 
Because that's because you and I were both talking about at the beginning. Like they're not they they're not bad guys, right? Yeah. Like at the beginning, it made it seem like they're bad guys, <laughs> right? Uh, yeah. So now maybe, well, like you said, maybe they still are. But like I just never. It's obviously going to be working together. <laughs> yep. Yeah, so I'm excited um, for that. I'm. This wasn't my favorite episode, but there are things to be excited about in the future for the future episodes. So, I'm still yeah. I'm still in it. This didn't lose Same, me. Same, I'm still in too. Yeah. And we're not even halfway yet. So yeah, true. So we still have a good what six episodes? So. Six episodes. Yep. Sweet. Yeah, that's all I had. A lot of Godzilla stuff. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Who knew we'd become a Godzilla podcast? <laughs> <laughs> <That's serious. laughs> uh, 